This is your girl again, Rev Sokubo. And if you're just joining me for the first time, thank you so very much for clicking on this video. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so very much for coming back again. If you're new to this channel, this channel is all about skincare tips, uh, reviews, you know, and anything about skincare that you need to learn, especially if you are just joining uh, the skincare um, industry for the first time this is an amazing channel guys trust me you will be learning a lot a lot of things okay you can go through my channel you can go through all the videos you know and then come back and subscribe to this channel because trust me you don't want to miss anything okay you don't want to miss anything because this channel is packed okay so guys uh, today I'm going to be talking about the pH level of whitening powders that you can use okay this uh, video is uh, a requested video from one of my subscribers um, Osta uh, and, and I want to acknowledge that I have heard I have seen your comment and um, this is the video so relax and enjoy uh, the video so welcome back today like i said i'm going to be talking about the ph level of whitening powders uh this is a topic i know a lot of people do not talk about on youtube uh because this is one very very important uh topic okay so uh ph of whitening powder what is uh ph ph simply means the level of hydrogen uh, in a product the power of hydrogen in a product okay so in skincare we have what we call the acidic environment mm -hmm. and the alkaline environment uh, your products the product you are making depends on either of these environments okay so and whitening powders also have ph levels and this is one one part that people do not talk about you don't just go because you see somebody on youtube or wherever whatever video that you watch you see somebody pouring in uh this powder that powder and you just go ahead and pour them into your product without knowing if they are actually right for the ph or they're actually right for uh the base that you are using um bases are very important as well please make sure you are taking note of this because you know this is one important topic okay so your bases or your base or whatever base you are using also determine the kind of whitening powder or the the kind of um product it gets at the end of the day the ph level of those powders are important especially if you are using them in any of these uh, environments either the alkaline environment or the acidic environment like i said um, the base has its own ph level if any of the whitening powders that you're going to be using has to fall under the same base okay in or the same range okay you cannot put a powder that your base is outside of and i'm going to explain that you know if you're making a soup for instance you want to make sure that you're using a powder that will fall under the environment of a soap what is the environment of soap it is alkaline soaps are alkaline in nature if it goes beyond or below seven it becomes water okay so you want to make sure that the base that you are using or the powder you are using falls under the alkaline uh, pH when you are making soap. I hope you got what I mean. So moving on, like I said, we're going to be talking about these whitening powders. And I have seven of them um, powders I'll be talking about. These powders are very popular. You must have heard about them. Kojic Acid, Giga White, Alpha Abutin, Sepe White, you know, uh, Glucetion and no powders like that but they all have the environment that they work in okay you don't just pour any of them in any of your base you have to be sure that they will fall under the environment that your base or your products end products is all right so that's that the first one we're going to be talking about is the kojic acid kojic acid is one amazing whitening powder guys I love 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 kojic acid not just because it is a whitening powder but because you can work with it in any of the environments okay uh, for kojic acid its pH level ranges from 3 to 9 that's to tell you that you can see that it has a wide range of uh, activeness or that it can work in um, or wide range of environments that it can work in it is a superb whitening powder guys beautiful whitening powder you can combine it with a lot of things actually you can combine it with any of the whitening powders that you have please this list I'm going to be listing is not that you're going to pack all the powder if you are a new 
formulate so please all these i am listing i'm not saying you should add all of them in your product you can pick two three of them or four and use okay there are other whitening powders as well but i'm going to be talking about this uh selected seven okay so Kojit Acid, like I said, an amazing product. It ranges from three to nine. That's to tell you, it can work in your face cream. It can work in your uh, lotion. It can as well work in your soap. So take note of that. So, but Kojic Acid can only be soluble in water. It can only be soluble in that's what it means is that it can only be dissolved in water. Okay. So the next one I'm going to be talking about is your Kojic Depalmitate. Kojic Depalmitate is another form of Kojic Acid, but this one particular one is amazing. Like I said for Kojic Acid, Kojic Acid can be dissolved in water, but it also has another issue which is that when you make your product, after making your product, you want to make sure you are putting that product into a tanned container. It could be a dark container, black or tanned container, whichever one. I'm going to leave a picture of what I mean on the screen i'll look for one and put okay so that's that what a tank container looks like uh you can use either black or tan but make sure that it's not a transparent container this is because it easily oxidizes so you don't want your products to lose its power or its effect because kojic acid trust me it easily oxidizes all right but only if you're going to be adding maybe antioxidants it's antioxidants like vitamin c uh vitamin e uh, will help to keep its power for a long period okay so the next one i'm going to be talking about is kojic depamitate Kojic Depermitate is another form of Kojic Acid, amazing, amazing product. It doesn't easily oxid oxidize like, uh, like Kojic Acid, it doesn't easily oxidize. However, you can only dissolve it in, in, in oils, okay? Unlike Kojic Acid that is dissolved in water, Kojic Depermitate or Kojic Deep as it is popularly called can only be dissolved in oil okay its ph level is the same as kojic acid three to nine so you can definitely use it in any of your products the next one i'm going to be talking about is snow white powder i love 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 the effect of snow white powder it gives a whitening glow a beautiful beautiful smooth glow so if you know how to use these powders guys you're going to have an amazing result it gives a beautiful effects it is water soluble okay it's water soluble and its ph range is between 3 to 6.5 so 3 to 6.5 you definitely know that you can use it in your face cream and your your lotion or your uh, cream however you cannot go beyond it only works in an acidic environment you can see from 3 to 6.5 meaning it can only work in your acidic environment it cannot go beyond so you want to make sure that whatever it is you are doing but don't waste your your whitening powders these powders are very expensive just focus on the acidic area you can put it in your face cream in your uh, cleanser in your serums in your um, face wash and as far as it falls on the three to six point five so the next one i'm going to be talking about is um giga white guys i love giga, giga white it's an amazing powder whitening powder i use it a lot in my face cream because it gives this very beautiful gloom uh especially when you combine it with vitamin c i love 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 the effect uh it's ph level ranges from three to six uh so you want to make sure that it is going to be in your face cream or your face uh, or your body cream and uh it also is um, water soluble, that is, it is dissolved. Moving on to the water. next one, I'm going to be talking about Alpha Avertin. Now, I know Alpha Avertin is a very popular whitening product. You must have heard about it. It's a very, very, very popular product. Um, but for Alpha Avertin, I like to use it in face creams a lot, face products. It can also work in your body lotion or your body cream. Its pH level is from 3 to 6.5 as well uh 3.5 to 6.5 so you can use it in your toner face cream cleanser you know and um, your body lotion it works pretty well but you know it's not going to go beyond the ac acidic environment okay so and the next one i'm going to be talking about is l glutathione guys i love l glutathione a lot and that's because it can combine it with vitamin c it gives a beautiful effect just like uh, alpha albutin however alpha albutin and l glutathione are very expensive their measurements are you you know you need to be very careful when you're using them you don't use too much 
but it gives a good effect okay so it's very powerful and it is very very expensive uh it's ph level like i said is 3.5 to 6.5 uh, so you want to make sure that you're using it in your acidic environment so the next one and certainly not the last is sappy white guys now sappy white is one lovely whitening powder as well it contains uh, a lot of beautiful properties that can help to smoothen out the skin you know and also give that whitening effects if that's what you're looking for however you can combine it with different powders maybe two other powders combine it with that and vitamin c and you get an amazing amazing result trust me uh sepi white especially i don't know if you, any of you have used the uh, serum if you have please leave a comment in the comment section i want to know its effect because i know how amazing that serum is so you can leave your comments as well in the comment section and let me know what you think after using any of these powders let me know what you think and what, what was the effect or what was the end result all right guys so like i said i don't want this video to be too long do not forget to hit this red subscribe button guys it's the only way you can support what I do, okay? It's the only way you can support what I do. Please smash the red subscribe button and like and share this video. You can turn on your notification bell if you're new so you'll be notified anytime I post a new video, okay? So guys, that's all I'm going to be talking about. So, Osta, I hope you enjoyed this video because this video was because of you. So thank you so very much for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave a comment and I'll see you next time. Bye.